Welcome back for Chrono Trigger. Here we are with episode 6, about to head on to the factory. I'm Adrian. This is Roxy. And this is Ambi. And we're deciding who to leave behind. And of course it's Marl. Ah. <laughs> that was my Although, job. Marl is our healer though, so... Yeah, that might make things a little bit tough. Now if you ever change your mind and you want to switch places, you just come back here and talk to her and you can swap back. Mm. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to head on to the factory. Right. What a wasteland. Yeah. Warrior. So you mean... You know what, I'm not gonna finish that sentence because it's too mean. <laughs> now we could have come here before, but that laser would have blocked our path. Oh. Now that Robo's here though. So we couldn't even, like, jump over it, of course. <laughs> yep. You can't jump in this game, remember? Yes! I recall. <laughs> what? Acid? We're fighting acid. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. I thought it was literally gonna be, like, goop. I'm like, how do you kill goop? It kind do of you is neutralize it? pool of acid. Do you neutralize it with a base? Yes. yes. The base of... Violence. Does that mean these are basic bitches then? <laughs> it makes us basic bitches. <gasps> That's true. <laughs> Robo is so cute. He tries very hard. He does. So this room's kind of mean. Nothing actually happens to <laughs> you on the door, but there's a little chest hidden up here. Oh, cool. That is super mean. Well, this game made their save point trigger a monster attack. <laughs> that should come as no surprise. And you can't go that way because of a barrel in the way? Isn't does the button there do anything? Or... Nope, those aren't really buttons, so they're just oh. lights. Damn. Oh, that's a shame Marl's not here. Think of our Robin, though. So wait, you can't even, like, pick it up for her, or...? No, we, we can hold on okay. to it, time it, that we can't equip it on her. Was the robot level 10 there, or...? Yep. Does that mean he's technically, like, higher level enough, so he's slightly stronger? I think that's about the same level as we were at. I didn't actually pay attention to what level we were, but I think that's about on par. Yeah, I didn't catch it in the brief inventory, yeah. inventory screen time. I'll pop back in there in a bit. Here, just gotta wait for the robots to pass, otherwise you get thrown into a fight with them, and I'd rather not do that. Gotta duck out of the way before the next ones come. This place is about being fast very slowly. So as long as you make it down the stairs, the rest of them will in time? Yep. It's only you that depends on monster encounters and that, and that kind of thing. Oh, that's good. So the game doesn't punish you that much. Yeah. I think there's a couple of games that have followers or NPCs that can follow you, and usually if there's something about avoiding enemies, they will be hilariously bad at it. Yeah. Like uh, sneaking with followers in Skyrim. And you may have like a hundred sneak and be the stealthiest motherfucker alive, but Lydia tromping behind you is in a suit of full plate armor, shouting, where are the danger? I was thinking more along the lines of um, Infinity Engine type stuff, Walter's Gate, and Planescape Torment, that kind of thing. Same kind right. of issue there. Mm. So here we'll show off some Robo skills. Rocket Punch and Cure Beam. Oh, so he is a healer. I love Robo. I love Robo. <laughs> we need to keep Robo. Yes, he is a healer. He's got a some kind of magic healing thing there. See, well, we, don't, bad, we don't need Marl ever <laughs> again. I mean, we got a robot that can heal and rocket punch. The unfortunate thing, though, is that with Marl, you've got uh, an AoE heal, not with Robo. Oh. 
but that can make healing a little bit trickier. And as you saw there, we also learned a brand new tech for him, Laser Spin. And it also gave us a dual tech. So that weighs for his next one. Robo tackle. His HP is so high. Yeah, he's kind of a tank type. Really high power and stamina, but really low speed, and his magic skill is basically non-existent in magic <laughs> defense. Of course. Yeah, I mean, he's a machine, so... When you're that good, you don't need magic. <laughs> so what grades of tonic are there? There's... we've got mid-tonics. Normal tonics, just no adjective. So, are there high tonics, ultra tonics? Are there super tonics? There might be. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, those are some fast robots. Yeah, they're a little speedy. Couldn't quite get around them. That gives us a chance to show off robots new things. It's a dance party! <laughs> disco attack. He even ends in a disco move. Robo to electric boom. The robot does not approve disco. <laughs> well, you know, disco comes back in about 250 years. According to some people I was talking to the other day, disco is coming back right now. That's what white people say. That is what white people say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and here's rocket balls. You will type of crown up. Nice. Double spin. The full power of spinning. <laughs> and these monsters still aren't dead. This is one of the reasons why I tried to avoid them on the bear belt. Oh my god. They're pretty tough. So excited to cure people. <laughs> He's a helper. He's a very excitable robot. <laughs> the best kind, really. Mm. Slower robots here. Yep. Much easier to sneak around them. Thankfully, we already saw what the codes were in the other room. When you put it in, it triggers this claw machine crane. Ah, which lifts the barrel from the floor. Yep. Is there something suspending it, or is it a hover crane? It's a hover crane. Future and all. That's right. So, of course we're not strong enough to move a barrel on our own, but we can make a hover crane do it for us. Yep. And we got two codes. When we put in the other one, we move the other barrel. Oh, I didn't even see there were more. There was more than one barrel. <laughs> yep, yeah, this is the one we ran into before. The other one was further down the way. If we tried to go down the ladder there, then it would have blocked us in both directions. So the first one was where we need to progress from here, and the second one is allowing us to get back faster? Uh, yes. So we can exit faster. That seems to be a thing. Yeah, one thing that a lot of the Dungeons and Chrono Trigger do is when you get near the end, you unlock a path that lets you just jump right back to the beginning and not have to backtrack your way all the way through. It's a nice mechanic, like Skyrim's dungeons did that as well, whereas Oblivion's for the most part didn't. Mm -hmm. Like even the ones that you were sent to as part of plot, either you had to walk out just straight back the way you came, or they teleported you out. Mm -hmm. So many dungeons. Another bolt sword, if we miss the one in the sewers. Hey. Xavy or Xavy. Interesting. And that's about all we can do on the actual factory side of the factory. So let's head around to the other half. I like the factory. It has great music. Then there's these guys. 
Not entirely <laughs> sure how we managed to dodge them there. Luck. <laughs> Out of the labs. Sometimes Adrian just has a sense for these things. <laughs> Plus, I played this game probably a dozen times. Nice. And the thing didn't attract monsters this time. Yep. Always a plus. <laughs> Something weird I have to be aware of every time. Ooh. A different type of acid. I thought those were marijuana Acid and alkaline. <laughs> God damn it. Like me. One's marijuana. acid, one's alkaline. Alkaline is basic. God damn it. But then... The rocks got that right. What? Oh, the... Oh. The green ones were alkaline. Yeah. They've actually got a counterattack specifically about that, but we'll see. I tried to trigger in that fight, but it, I couldn't get it to trigger for about five minutes, so I just skipped past it. Mm. There's a better fight to show it off coming up. Not entirely spoilers, because you can kind of guess by the names that there's going to be some kind of interaction between the two. Right. And there's a thing up here, but it just doesn't do anything. Maybe it's like the bats in the walls before. Something will trigger and then it will come out to fight us. Maybe. Blah, blah. I like how the alkaline actually came out of that green bubble. Yeah. Mm. With a bubbling voice too. Yeah. I also like the theme about how the factory has all the robotic enemies and the lab has all the chemical enemies. That is a great thing. Titan vest. Is that an accessory? Hammer arm. That's what a. Uh, that's armor, actually. Robo uses. And, yep. So that's an upgrade for him. God, pay attention, Ambi. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So Luke's got the lowest defense, so I give her the extra armor. Robo's new weapon. You're stepping in the alkaline puddle. <laughs> Alkalines are much worse for your flesh than acids are. Oh, we've got boots. Do they come with fur? Lots of slime. Yep, let's say yes. <laughs> oh, these guys move around a lot. Yeah. Very active. And here we go. Chemical abuse. Well. <laughs> that happens as a counterattack when two of them are close to each other. Well, we've eliminated all of the alkalines, so. Yep, this is a question of getting the rest cleared up. Now, the acids are immune to fire, so we've got to. Stick with the physical or life thing. They're also or, and shadow. They are immune to shadow as well. Do we have anyone that can do shadow yet? Uh, Robo's laser spin is shadow. Uh. In general, energy type mechanical derived effects are shadow. So quick backtrack to heal up. Since we've got the opportunity. And now we could have gone straight down again from the elevator after that, but there's again that security laser that would have kept us from progressing. We check control panel here, you can see that it pops up the same up and down option. I thought that was going to be a boss corridor. Extra effect from that one. Random stop on machines. Yeah. That plasma gun, that'll be fun whenever we go back to the past. <laughs> now the neat thing about this is you don't actually have to go to the computer in the factory side to be able to enter in the code here. So if this is a second playthrough or something, then you can just go straight to the lab side and skip the entire factory side. <sighs> what have you done? What do you say about a boss corridor, Anne? 
Oh god. Ah, yes. Oh shit. Is the corridor itself a boss? Oh fuck. No, Robo, don't sacrifice yourself. No, don't he do just it. needs to back away. Don't you dare. Is he the boss? Okay. Okay, he's okay. That's good. Elevator is right for us. Sixty-four. No. You're not malfunctioning. You're working perfectly. No. If only we could have done this beforehand, we could have saved him ahead of time. If only. Now, it's a fight like this where the Rage Band is really nice. You've just got a ton of tough enemies to keep attacking you. So many free attacks. It doesn't mean you've got to worry about healing, but thankfully it just means they'll finish up faster. Of course, once you start killing them, they get new counter attacks like that. Damn. Well, I mean, we saw what they did to Robo, so... Yeah. These suckers don't play. Surprisingly little damage from these guys. I know because yeah, yeah. I just I noticed that too because Luca takes about the same kind of damage once you hit her. Yeah, the danger with this boss is supposed to be the number of enemies, not the damage they do. They just keep piling on. But because of the rage band, it meant that we were able to cut them down pretty quick, so we never really got overwhelmed. Oh. In fact, we never actually saw the last counterattack they get because of the. Rage band. If there's only one of them left, they explode. What about the thing to the left? 
Can't we just put his body... I think that's just a junk robot carcass. Oh, Robo. Drag our friend back. Our robot friend. Marl's passed the fuck out again! Does this unit have a soul? How dare you. Robot's back. He lives! <laughs> Marl, what the fuck do you know? You slept all night, please. <laughs> Marl, please! Well, that doesn't mean she can't be happy about it. Oh, no. New party member. Yeah! Fuck you, Laurel, in your face! <laughs> I'm gonna take him on to whatever the next time period is. Let's take a robot to the past. Oh, this is so good. Or perhaps the even more distant future? Probably the past. This music's so high. That looks a little odd. Yeah, what was that electrical interference? Or I don't remember now. Ooh. Um, this is new. We're fancy. We're somewhere. Oh, what the and fuck is isometric. that? What the fuck is that music? We're going to have to find out what's going on here next time. What the fuck? How dare you? <laughs> How dare you leave it on that? Oh my god, fuck this. Uh, Ambi, your lines. Alright, well, remember to like the video, subscribe to the video, and um, I think that's it, yeah, yeah. Uh, Fa favorite the video? Favorite the video. And also... Come back if you want to find out what's going on. Yes, please. Yeah. I need, I got to know. <laughs> I got to know. <laughs>